Hello, my name is Uwe Steinkraus. I'm with company Unified Automation. We are doing software development kits for OPC Unified Architecture to integrate this technology into any system, any software. Today, I want to give you a technical presentation about the utilities you need that surround OPC servers and clients uh, for the function discovery, how to find out where are the OPC servers in your network and also about how to manage the security in those networks. This is part five of a series of technical presentations. The first tool you may need is a local discovery server. It's a little server that has a list of all OPC servers that recede on the same PC. If there's only one, like for example in a PLC, you typically have only one OPC server running, then this server uh, will present itself. But on a PC-based system where you have multiple software installed, which can all have their own OPC server, uh, there will be a registration, the local discovery registration, where all this server registers themselves and then the client can always access the port 4840 and either finds only the one server that is on that machine or it finds a list of server that are on this box. The second tool you uh, may find is the LDSME. It has a multicast extension. This is a discovery server um, for a local network. It has the additional functionality of doing hostname resolution in that network if you have no central uh, domain name service. And um, you can find all other OPC nodes in that network. It uses ZeroConf and MDNS Bonjour service to uh, announce the OPC server in the network. Um, and so the OPC UA client uses this LDSME and has a picture of all the OPC servers that are in the network and can decide to which one it wants to connect. The limitation is this only works in a local subnet. The third tool is the global discovery server, the GDS. A GDS is more than thus just a registration for OPC servers. It has also the ability to manage the security. So the feature is that it is a CA in itself, a certificate authority, and that clients and server can register at this GDS and then the GDS can manage the certificates sign them, send them back, also manage the revocation list. So if uh, there is one server to be revoked from the security group, then it can roll out and uh, deploy the revocation list uh, to the server and the clients. So the GDS is to manage the security in the network. And to do so, there are two different ways of accessing this GDS. So typically a client would register and then pull uh, the certificate and the revocation list from the GDS and a server is typically passive, will register at the GDS but then the GDS will push uh, certificates and revocation into the server and keep it up to date uh, with the security. To summarize, the OPC Unified Architecture um, is a communication platform for information models which define how information is described, then domain expert and companion specifications sitting on top of that and to describe what kind of information is to be exposed. It is protocol agnostic, so we have different transport um, and it depends on the use case. You can either use the client server which we now have extended with the publish subscribe communication model to cover all different use cases um, in all kinds of communication architectures. In addition, security is built into the architecture and there's an additional tool called the GDS to manage 
this security from a central point in the network. And this technology scales for all application scenarios in industrial IoT and the industry 4.0. Thank you very much for listening. This was the last presentation in a series of five for the technical introduction of OPC Unified Architecture.